Hello there. If you're a fan like me, you'll agree that Cheers 1982 stands among the greatest TV series ever. So, how about joining me today? Grab a chair, settle by the campfire, and let's relive this fantastic show together. We'll journey through the entire cast, past and present, reminiscing about those who've left us, and celebrating those who still shine. Ready? Let's dive in and rekindle some incredible memories. Ted Danson played the character Sam Malone in the TV series when he was 35 years old in 1982. Fast forward to today, he's a lively 76-year-old soaking up the best of life right here in San Diego, California. Wait, wait a minute. Now, if I bought that, that property, couldn't I have sold it to you for a profit? Maybe you wouldn't take advantage of a friend, would you? This, this is Ted Danson. No idea. This is, you know, and they're doing a show about baseball and we'd like to post. And he was just so pissed off. It was like... Kelsey Grammer played the character Dr. Fraser Crane in the TV series when he was 29 years old in 1984. Here he is at a cool 68, chilling in St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands, enjoying a happy life with family and friends by his side. No, no, of course not. It's very normal for most sane people to entertain insane impulses sometimes. I mean, it's very natural to want to... When Cheers is over, with you. Right. And said, cool. So I, I approached the guys from Wings, and uh, that was Angel Casey and Lee. Mm. Rhea Perlman played the character Carla Tortelli. She was 34 years old when the TV series ran in 1982. Here she is at a cool 75, chilling in Brooklyn, New York City, New York, enjoying a happy life with family and friends by her side. We both like Sam, and I'm concerned about him. I think he might get hurt by this liaison with Janet Eldridge. There is that. She's not like a grandma who stays at home and cooks, you know, and all that kind of stuff. She's, yes. she, it was her idea to, maybe I should go with you, Janie, to mm -hmm. keep you company when you go to... B.B. Newworth played the character Dr. Lilith Sternen. She was 28 years old when the TV series ran in 1986. Fast forward to today, and she's a lively 65-year-old, soaking up the best of life right here in Newark, New Jersey. But I have to warn you, they're the essence of the Y word. That's the yuppie word for yuppie. Are you implying that I'm a yuppie? Oh, for 96, yes, Anne Ryan King and I uh, played yes. uh, Velma and Roxy, uh, James Naughton, Joel Gray, Marsha Lewis. Yes. And, um, and so we are... Shelley Long played the character Diane Chambers in the TV series when she was 33 years old in 1982. Check it out. At 74 years old, she's rocking a fulfilling life jam-packed with passions right here in Fort Wayne, Indiana. I will not sleep with you. What? Oh my God, I can't believe I said that. He minds the comedy and everything. Do you have any memories of that? Yes, okay, so I, I, I didn't know baseball. I didn't uh, know jock. I, I you hadn't didn't know gotten bartender? To John Ratzenberger played the character Cliff Clavin in the TV series when he was 35 years old in 1982. Check it out. At 76 years old, he's rocking a fulfilling life jam-packed with passions right here in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Well, good. But before you look at it, Lewis, let me tell you a little something about him. Hey, what is this, the Dayton game? <laughs> Lewis, a man whose name is in the... I believe, yeah, his dad was an auto parts manager. Right. Yeah, they appeal to young adults, children... Woody Harrelson played the character Woody Boyd. He was 24 years old when the TV series ran in 1985. Check it out. At 62 years old, he's rocking a fulfilling life jam-packed with passions right here in Midland, Texas. You're going to be a very good chef, and your evening with me will be a wonderful home-cooked country meal with all the fixings from my native land. And I started rethinking, you know, the way I, I thought, I started to see how man-made the Bible was, you know. Interesting. The Nicene Council, the early church and all that. Kirstie Alley played the character Rebecca Howe. She was 36 years old when the TV series ran in 1987. December 5th, 2022 was a tough one.
She left us due to colon cancer at 71 years old in Tampa, Florida. It's a sad loss for all of us. I like this one. It's different. It not only demonstrates social concern, but it is also contemporary and hip. Now, Cheers is the bar that cares going to be in the bed next to you in a private room. And I'm like, oh my. Now what Ryan didn't tell people is, you know, he said he slept walked, sleepwalked that yeah. night. Oh. George Went played the character Norm Peterson. He was 34 years old when the TV series ran in 1982. Fast forward to today, and he's a lively 75 year old soaking up the best of life right here in Chicago, Illinois. Mr. Peterson, never been better, would he? And just once, I'd like to be better. <laughs> hey there, Sammy. It was, it was, it was a badass BMW yeah. like manual drive, which I'd never seen before. You know, I was pretty young. Uh, and he took me and my dad for a ride. Paul Wilson played the character Paul Krepence. He was 38 years old when the TV series ran in 1983. Check it out. At 78 years old, he's rocking a fulfilling life jam-packed with passions right here in Fairmont, Minnesota. You put me in a tough spot here. I'm sorry, Sam. I really want a tab. Yeah, I want a tab, too. Hey, you guys are getting tabs? Uh. Hey, everybody, we're all getting tabs. Hey. Now, I have a bit of a weight problem. <laughs> Exacerbated by the size of my parka, but nonetheless. <laughs> so I was delighted to discover a new product called I Can't Believe It's Not Nicholas Colasanto played the character Ernie Coach Pantuso in the TV series when he was 58 years old in 1982. Sadly, on February 12, 1985, he left us due to a heart ailment at the age of 61 in Studio City, Los Angeles, California. We're deeply saddened by his passing. Uh, oh, yeah. Look. Irene, what I'm trying to say is, one day in assembly hall, he had me say it in front of the whole school. I'd stayed up the whole night before trying to learn it. But when I got up on that stage, I drew a comp- All right, let's chat. Who's your absolute favorite character from Cheers? Jump into the comments and spill the beans below this video. Oh, and show some love. Hit that like button, subscribe for more, and ding that notification bell to never miss my new stuff. I can't wait to cook up more fantastic memories with you. Thanks a bunch and stay tuned for more. See you all soon. All soon.